let's just say that, um, you know, there was uh, a little fellation going oh, on. Oh, God. Everybody fights. First of all, thank you very much, everybody, for showing up again. Thank you. It's it's we take it really as a as a as a a token of gratitude because we know there are a million other things you could be doing. So many choices. Right. Well, Josh, you know, I wanted to kind of jump right in because I like to dive head first when I'm in the pool. Yeah, you don't fuck around. I don't. Are you a and cannonball I, man or do you dive? I like diving head first. Okay. Will you dive head first in a above ground pool? Depends how deep. Well, an above ground pool typically four, four feet, five. you know, give or take. Yes, I will. You will. Yes, I will. And I will position myself so when I jump in, I kind of go like this. Like here's the bottom. Yeah. I'll go like this. Kind of like slide. a dolphin. You'll skim yes, off the bottom. I kind of just like graze my my stomach will graze the bottom and I'll get a, a scratch on it, but I will clear it almost. Nice. Yes. Well, well, well. Yes. I'm thinking back, it's been a long time since I've been in an above ground pool. I'm sure. Actually, didn't you have one? I've got one here still, and I'm ready to rip it down and get rid of it. Diagnosis. <laughs> I was gonna say it's an eyesore. I, well, I it's actually it's a nice pool. The deck is horrible. That's yeah. another story. Yeah. But the pool uh, all needs is a liner. But whatever. That's another story for another day. It is. Let's talk about this story, Josh. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good times and the bad times or things. I don't know. Yes, I'm sorry. I keep on. Let's talk Let's about talk sex. About farting. I want to talk about farting today, Josh. I know farting. it might. It's a very funny topic. Uh, typically, when there is a scene in a movie where there's farting and shitting, there's laughter. Can you validate that for me? I can. Can I tell you something though? Look, so here's the thing when it comes to, and I have a hard time saying farting because yes, we're gonna when get I, <laughs> I was a, I was a, I was a farting guy back in the day. Carefree, didn't care, right? It was part of my nature. It was part of all guys' natures to just let it rip. I don't and it still is. Change. But when I met my wife to be back in the day, she referred to the term as fluffing. I fluffing. Yes. Lost so it, it takes the edge off because farting is just so in your face, so Fox yeah. 25, you know, like so uh, married with children. Yeah. So it, to me, it's a dirty word. Not that I don't do it hmm. because we all do it. No, we, we know you do it. Everybody. I know you do it. Plus. Well, I've got a couple of videos where I hear you ripping away, senior. Uh, not possible. Oh, you're, are you challenging me? I'm very conservative with my farting. If you go back in the original Broken Head days, the original Bazooka Joe days, oh, yeah, uh, those... I've got plenty of uh, sound bites of Mr. <laughs> you letting That's it true. go like a chainsaw. I remember. And, and you know, that's funny. That's your memory. Here's my memory of Josh. Uh, pretty early on when him and I met, we were at the mall, as always, uh, during our lunch break. And oh, really, we were, rather not you tell the story. Okay? We this were in a store for you uh, me. by the name of Brookstone. I was trying to win you over. I needed to woo you. This guy was wooing me so hard. We were in Brookstone walking around. Somebody was asking us, we need help. And, you know, people were nearby. All of a this sudden. Happening? Josh lets out the most giant fart in the world. I turn around. I think I leave, but I'm cracking up the whole time. This was no holds barred. I can't do that. I can't do what he did. He did it. He is a master. What do you mean you can't club. do it? I can't do that. I'm not comfortable enough to let it rip like that in a store. With I thought people. you were saying physically you can't do it because no, your I anus can't. is so open and wide. From your other activities that you just don't have the ability to flatulate with some serious no. sound bites. You that fart was so loud, I would I couldn't believe you had done that. I, I can't do that. I'm sorry. I'm not again. I needed to do it to woo you. We and I had just started hanging out together, and this... I got a, I, I got a sense right away that you were into it. So I had to adapt and overcome. And it's what it's what really I think won you over to my team. I mean, I was laughing hysterically. So yes, in a sense, you could say you, uh, you wooed me over to your team. I knew my audience. 
you did. You you said, all right, I'm gonna. This is a big one. I'm taking a chance, but I'm gonna I let did. it out of here. You could have just walked. You, you could have got disgusted and ran away, but you know, you didn't. I fucking laughed my head off. I think it was in tears. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. It was the funny. I and mean, then I noticed that you know th- this kind of behavior. Uh, kind of kept going in different situations basically josh was as they say was no holds barred when it came came to farting and such as the this is the that was the intro for today's topic and i think it was a very good one mind what's you. the outro going to be <laughs> peeing <laughs> uh yeah let's talk about well actually reference an old broken heads episode we get into the peeing portion of broken heads so the topic is josh yes your farting etiquette. I'd like to discuss, and that goes for both of us. I'd like to discuss farting etiquette on today's show. Can we say fluffing etiquette? No, that's the dumbest word I ever heard. That that sounds it's, like a woman. What a woman would. I have to fluff. Beep, beep, boop, boop. Beep. Yeah, and I know you have some issues with that as well as I've heard in the past. But nevertheless, nonetheless, nonetheless, farting etiquette. Now, I can attest, and I'm. I'm sure I'm guilty, but Josh is more guilty that when we would eat together, you know, at work, Josh would be farting while we eat. Now, if you think about it, that's pretty, that can be pretty grotesque because you're letting on these dis- potentially disgusting smells while you're trying to maybe enjoy a meal. So, like I said, we're both guilty of it, I believe, but Josh takes the cake for doing it a bit more. So the question is, at home, at the dinner table, what is the etiquette? What is the farting etiquette at home? (laughs) Let's say all the kids are at the table, everybody's sitting down, and a fart's coming down the chamber. What do you do? What You will be sorely disappointed to know that when I come home, I'm like Clark Kent in reverse. I go from Superman out in the day, out, you know, being a super fluff man, and then I come home, and my, I don't let my family like my son is different now i i have no problem ripping in front of my son just to disgust him but when it comes to my wife i would expect the same so i don't want to be ripping them because i don't want to hear my wife ripping them and thank enough. god to date that's how it works synergy wise with us wow so this is so going if, on if, I, if i'm at a table if i'm at the dinner table and there's two there's two different solutions two different ways to go here one you can pinch it and fight it back and it will eventually go back up yes save for later like a rocket ship exactly you can save that fuel for later (laughs) you know it's going to be a little more worse or if i have to go and there's nothing that can be done i will certainly try to leave the table you would try if it's a bullet train and there's nothing to be done about it i will lift one cheek (laughs) <laughs> and try to pinch it, try to pull it, you know, with those little my muscles, and try to open it up so it is quiet. But that's very rare because that's normally SBD. that could be an SBD, which is just it, as bad. It could be, which is why I try not to do it. Like I will fight tooth and nail. Wow. Okay. And not go that way. So how about you? Don't the chew on the other foot, pal. Well, no wonder why you just go carefree outside of the home because you you really don't care. Everything's pent up here. Yeah. A lot of two lives. Part aggression is, as I like to call it. And how do you think I feel now with, you know, the pandemic and working from home? I'm stuck here. Well, wait, you must have like a fart room or something. I don't. Are you in your fart room right now? I don't, but I've noticed this. (laughs) I've noticed at night, and this is between you and me, right? No one else is. Yeah, yeah, no, I actually, I I stopped recording. Go ahead. All right, cool. So at night, I have noticed on a few occasions as I'm slipping off into the land of slumber. Oh yeah, come on, get out An of accidental fluff shoots from me that I can't do anything about it. Absolutely. And I'm very embarrassed because I know my wife heard it. I know she did. I can't believe you're embarrassed. Is he- Quiet about it. I know. Listen, that's not, I mean, you guys clearly have a great relationship. Why would <laughs> farting need to get in the way of- I, You know what? I've been married for, you know, Friggin' 25 years, you'd think this wouldn't be a big deal. It's just one of those things. And I'll tell you where it stemmed from. It stemmed from her her mother. Her mother was very uh, prim and proper. 
and like, you know, a woman never does this and blah, oh, blah, blah. Jesus. And old I school, think huh? that's where, yeah, very old school. And I think that's where it kind of started from. So I'm still in that area. I mean, I know I have a relationship to where I could rip it in front of her. I could probably make a Dutch oven. A Dutch oven is when you release a fart under the blanket. And then after the poo particles spread out evenly, you trap your partner underneath so that he or she can only inhale the toxic fumes. But I just don't want to do that. <laughs> wow. That is, uh, that's an interesting predicament, you know, especially at you night. Don't. What about you? Well, yeah, no, I don't, I don't, listen, um, there have been times where I have farted at the table. <laughs> just open right home. up. And I'll tell you, I get the third degree. Don't bring gas and destroy our meal. Don't bring gas and destroy our meal. Don't bring gas and destroy our meal. Ooh. Yeah. So I, I have to, like you, I have to do my best to not have that happen. Sometimes, occasionally, I forget, like, like we won't be eating, but, like, there'll be food around, like, in the living room or something. And I don't, I'm not paying attention. She's <laughs> like, I'm eating here. I'm like, oh, I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> trying to put food in her mouth as yes. she's taking the food up it's going to your cloud of stink <laughs> into her mouth she's yeah. essentially eating your gas now i know you, you stopped recording so you can be honest with me yeah um, all right tell me about your wife does she oh. give you the same type of latitude is she quiet like a little church mouse <laughs> uh well you know at the dinner table everyone's quiet Okay, but when you're intimate, when you're drifting off to sleep in bed, or you're in the car together on a long uh, ride, and it's no holds barred. We have no an open bar. We have an open forum. <laughs> You've got an open relationship. I have an open <laughs> gaseous relationship. Yeah, you know what? I, and I like it that way because you know what? I do it in front of my daughter. She hates it, but I do it. I've always yeah. Been. I think as a dad, it's care. part of what we can do. Like, it's a part of our job as a dad to be gross in front of our kids. So yeah. like that, that I understand. <laughs> <laughs> but so you 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 will rip right in front of your your wife Absolutely. you will rip in front of you <laughs> well yeah it's not like as much as me it's not like me uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. they put it like this okay. i'm the gassy one in the relationship <laughs> the gassy. yes and i certainly am in mine and you know <laughs> i know that i've been i've been places where i've been with my wife and i've smelt something and i know that it wasn't me Oh, but no. I will just not say anything. And I'll oh, just, see that you know. that's really now that's like as if you're with a stranger. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Really? Because again, it goes back to me feeling yes. awkward about the whole process. Oh, well, okay. Well, well, let's extend this. And what about like at a store? If you're in an aisle together and you gotta I will it. crop dust off on my own. Hey, you know that really isn't that much funny. So, but you won't do it together. If you're together with no. your wife, will you go down a separate aisle? Yes. And hide out? Yes. And like I said, I will go down an aisle too. I will dust and then come back. See, because I'll do it. I'll do it in plain daylight, broad daylight with uh, my wife. All right. Let me give you a scenario without your wife. <laughs> Let me give you a scenario where I've actually, ha it's happened to me. I don't know about you. Let's say we're in an office building. Yes. And you are um, in the elevator by yourself. Okay. Oh, this, and is, this is the most dangerous place to yes, be. Yes. You know what I'm going with this. So <laughs> you're in the elevator by yourself and you start off on the fifth floor and you go to go to the first floor. Let's say you've got one coming. Oh, my and God. And you've got to let it go. You're by yourself, but you know that there's a chance that four, three, two, roughly yep. two, someone's going to come in that door and walk in that elevator with you. And there's obviously, you know, they know it's you. <laughs> just don't do it again all right don't do it again it's very you have to be very strategic okay not only do you need to uh, have a blueprint of the whole building in, yes. in your head that will flash within one second of like who's on the floor how busy are the floors traditionally how how often are these doors opening with people getting in what floor has the most traffic you have to do this in about one two seconds then for me this is me talking yeah and then if I'm on the fifth floor, I gotta go to one. I'm not letting out on five. That is too risky. I got too much time to go. Yeah. I gotta try to hold it to about three to two. Three to two, I'm gonna let it out. And I would say typically that's fine, but I think you'll agree with me. For some reason in our buildings, and I know you, you changed buildings before we went back, 
but there were a lot of folks that would love to get on it too and go down one floor to one, which is a whole nother topic. Yes. But time of day, waiting for three and two, you still are on the risk. You do. No, you, it's a risky situation no matter what. And I've done it. But you know, if you do it later in the day, chances are you're going to get away scot free. So let's say you, you do it, you let it go. The door opens at two, at three. In walks some sort of, you know, whoever. Vice president of. Vice president of sales. <laughs> you are just speaking with this person about a potential, you know, promotion. And you know that it's horrible. You know. I, I've never been in that boat. Bad. I've you've never, been, never been in that boat where you've let one go and the person that's next to you now know and they know it's you. If I have, I, I, I can't remember any details. So basically it's no, 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 not in recent times. And it sounds like you have had this happen. I can't recall it. I'll be honest with you. I've had it happen, but with just some like lowly nobody yeah. that I wasn't too worried about. Did you say, excuse me? Oh no. Like I did it. And then they walked in. Did you say, and excuse so, me? It's no, cause I'm not going to take, I want to, that could be anybody. I'm going to say in my mind, maybe. Johnny Stinky Fish got in before me. So you it. would play it off if she, if he or she said, "What is that you?" Well, no one's gonna say that. Let's be of honest. Of course not. But if they did, would you play it off? I, no, no. I got no, on. Like, no, I got the elevator. It stinks. I thought someone like threw up or something. <laughs> I would totally play that off. You I would lie. Like, oh, I, well, I don't like calling that on lying. camera. Josh, <laughs> a liar, broken head. You're going nowhere in your career, sir. <laughs> you are done. There's a lot of scenarios where farting can be involved. And I think we just named some of the key ones, right? At home, in bed, at dinner, or whatever, in a store, at work. Those are your prime time farting locations. Yes. Yes. I mean, can you Have think you, of any other ones? Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw one out for you now. It's it's a very uh it's a it's a tough one. And I'm I'm gonna ask you the the, the hard hitting questions. I, I want but- I want when, that. When gas comes, it doesn't wait, doesn't care where you are. And there are there there might be an occasion where you might be getting a little bit intimate. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. I have, I have a great memory of that. Uh, <laughs> going back to about 2001, 2000, right around there. Yep. I think you want me to come clean, don't you? Well, I think we like to be honest with each other. I'd like to hope I'd get your honesty. Well, you know, yeah, I was... I was finishing up and, you know, you, 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 at that point, as any man will know, there's, there's a great force, a great force to, for, for nature to, to do its course, right? Yes. It, ha- it must come out. It must be a, a lot, lot of, of, a lot of energy. Yes. So as that was going on, the pressure, it bursted and it bursted on the back end. Right at that yeah. time, and Ooh. I, it was it was vocal. It was a noise. It wasn't SBD clearly because, <laughs> and I always remember that because it was pretty funny. Now, now the good part is we both laughed. Okay, we both laughed. That is. It good. wasn't like get out of my house. Get yes. out. I never want to that see is, you. Again. That is good. That is yes. good. Now, <laughs> do you have a similar story? Yeah. Yeah. I oh, do. you have stories. And mine, no, mine's worse. Um, oh, God, sorry. I want to be, I want to be tactful with this. Of course. Uh, I understand. So um, let's just say that, um, you know, there was uh, a little fellation going oh, on. Oh, God. Oh, that. Okay, ladies, our thumbs are down, our wrists are flexed, and we're going to position ourselves for insertion. But, you know, you can only fight so long. I, you can't just say, stop, I'm going to go, hold on. So and you knew this was coming. I was fighting it. I was oh, literally God. fighting it. But when that's happening, you're relaxing. You're, you know, uh, I don't want to get it. It's obviously it's very graphic. Well, but sure. there's no way to win from that one. And all I can say is thank heavens. I was a young little puppy. It was many moons ago. So, you know, I could put several decades between me and the incident. And I feel a little bit better about it. I'm more concerned about what happened after it went down. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> no pun intended. You, you don't even get what you're saying, do you? It went down. Uh, after it happened, yeah. it was loud. It was audible. And, and what, what happened? I believe the act stopped. It must have, right? I mean, nobody in their right mind would 
do a rusty trombone. Uh, I, 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 well, that's, uh, that's, that's a, a different, uh, that's t- entirely a, a different, type. please. Let's not, let's not go that, I don't want my viewers <laughs> and my subscribers to think that I, you know, I'm down with that because yeah. I certainly am not. At so all. was there any was there any words exchanged after the stopping of the probably act? something like that was gross or that's gross or you, you know, can't remember on. that you can't remember no because it was, it was such an embarrassing moment I'm at my most open vulnerable. and honest and vulnerable position and 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 I happen to like that position but then when that happens you're like it's all done and there's oh no coming God. back from that that is really bad I will yeah. say yeah. Uh, that 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 takes the cake. I'm, I'm glad that you are crowned the king of that, and not me, because yeah. well, there it, you go. It looks much better. But I can make you. you happy. Yeah, the <laughs> crown looks better on your head than mine. Thank well, you. you know, what is it? He is uh, the head that that bears the crown, or I don't know, whatever, something like that. Something wow, like that, that, exactly. That was a really good uh, story. Are you happy? Are you happy? You got that from me? you? Pride that from me in my my past? Are you I, happy? I am. Because this was going nowhere. You finally bought something out that needed to be oh, out. As long as I embarrass myself in front of our <laughs> listeners, you're okay. That's wow. that's where things come to actually, you know, enjoyment for you. Now, now the thing is, this has to happen from to others. Like, there's no question about it. So stuff like this ha- it has to happen. Yes, I'm sure. So, basically, our viewers, would you please put your most embarrassing moment in the comments so yes. Josh and I can And I'm sure it. we'll see it. They're going to put their uttermost, you know, most embarrassing <laughs> moments in the comments for everyone to see. Why not? If we can do it, you can do it. And on that right. note, we'd like to bid you all a farewell. We hope you enjoyed this topic bid today of farting dude. etiquette. Uh, fluffing etiquette. It's cool. Fluffing. The new term for farting in 2021. Fluff. Fluffing is a new black. Orange is a new black. Well, Enjoy, until the folks. next time, everyone. Yes, Josh, please take us out. Take us to commercial. Hi, yo, Husky. Ho, don't forget to get broken. Next week, broken.